Hello to everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and we are here today with a little declutter. So if you missed my last couple of videos, I'm going to be doing inventory on all of my makeup. Oh man, has it been an undertaking and eye opening because I think this drawer only has like 10 blushes in it, but in reality it has way more. But anyway, as I'm taking this meticulous inventory, writing everything down, I'm finding a lot of things I don't even want to write down. Like I don't even want to write down that I have this. So I threw it in this box. I'm going to share it with you. Um, if you're interested in any of the things I declutter, most of the time it all goes up on Poshmark. It's all for a very reasonable price. I'm not trying to like get rich on Poshmark or anything. I'm just trying to like declutter and get this stuff out of here. So keep an eye on my Poshmark. It's down in the description box if you want to see any of these things and you want to buy them. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the things I'm decluttering. Also, I had a very long day at work. My eyes are very red. Anyway, first thing in the box is from Lorac. This is the Unzipped Desert Sunset Palette. This is a palette I've had for a while, I guess. I did a video comparing this to the Ciate Jessica Rabbit palette that I hated so much. This is like way better than it, but I haven't used it in a long time. I got this at Nordstrom Rack and I really wanted it because this like package was really cool. Uh, this isn't as good as the Lorac Pro palette. It's not the same formula, I don't think, um, but I just, I don't know, I don't use it anymore gonna let it go the next thing in here is from pacifica this is the natural minerals like face palette i'm not gonna declutter this i'm actually going to depot this so i love this formula that pacifica has the formula they put out now i don't really like it all that much i find it just kind of not very good this formula though that they have here is amazing it's like silk like when you touch it it feels like your your fingers are touching like a silk something they're incredible the formula is insane insanely silky um so i do want to depot these they're on the lighter side as far as pigmentation goes but i don't think that's a bad thing you know these ones i overlook because i think the formula is so good so the packaging is so bulky for what it is you know no mirror or anything so i'm going to depot this one and then um, keep the shadows these face products and then those i'm going to let go of they're like these creams that have kind of dried up i'm going to depot that oh no so if i depot that i have to add these into my singles count because i already counted all my eyeshadow singles oh my god i gotta add those in okay this inventory is the whole thing um i have this sephora mixology palette so this is looks like this i swatched a few of the shades never used it look at that brush though i don't know don't keep the brush i don't need to keep the brush okay let it go i got this palette from pixie this is the pixie like summer love or summer glow face palette Summer Glow Palette Sheer Sunshine. I think this is really good. I just don't ever use it, and I think someone else could get some use out of that. I have this Ulta Beauty Stay Cheeky Palette. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, I don't want to let it go. So this came out during holiday this past year. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to let it go anymore. I want to keep it. Oh, I want to keep it. No, let it go. Just let it go. So it has like this fuzzy uh, cover. The blushes are really good. I actually really like this. I just don't really reach for it a whole lot because I have so much. And this one just kind of gets neglected, but I keep it because I like Ulta, the Ulta Beauty brand. And I just, I don't, let it go, let it go. I have this uh, Rimmel Magnifies Jewels Rock Palette. This is just a duplicate. I have another one, so I'm gonna let that go. The Laura Geller Iconic New York Collection in the shade Downtown Cool. Never touched, I'm gonna let it go. This Kylie uh, pressed eyeshadow palette. I don't even know what it's called. It just says, or is it called the purple palette? I think something like that. Um, this is fine, but it's not like something I'm crazy about. Same thing with this Morphe palette. This is the artistry palette in the shade 9J called Just a Crush. What? Listen to this. Okay, let's close the coffin on this palette gonna let it go this little face palette from Rimmel this is the Rimmel and Kate the face sculpting palette I think I had all of these at one point I've slowly gotten rid of them over time and this was the last one I was hanging on to gonna let it go I feel like I stumbled all my words just now stumbled over my words this blush from Sigma I bought some excuse me some stuff from Sigma recently some brushes these brushes right here I don't know how to use most of them and I feel like, why did I buy them? I'm like struggling to use most of the brushes. Um, anyway, the highlighter brush I'm liking, but the rest, I don't, I don't know what to do with them. 
But I also bought this blush in the shade, it's called Aura Powder in the shade Sigma Pink. Uh, this is how it looks, and you're gonna freak out when you see this blush. Look at it. I didn't realize it was gonna be so pink. I swatched it once, it's definitely not for me. Someone with a darker skin tone, I think this would just freaking pop on you. But uh, for me, it's just not for me, it's too pink. I'm gonna let go of this e.l.f. Um, highlighter from the Retro Paradise line. I just don't like the way that this looks on my face. Uh, this little blush from Gigi Gorgeous. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I just haven't touched it. I've had it for a long time, never used it. A couple of, Rev of Revlon blushes. I have the shade Tickled Pink and Rosy Rendezvous. Revlon's one of my favorite, favorite blush formulas. I love it so much. And I think just because I've been using them for so long, that I feel like I have to keep liking it. But these two shades I just don't um, love on me. I'm gonna let those go. The biggest waste of money of my life from Winky Lux. This brand is just like, what is this brand? But I got this cream highlight from, they had this at Target. It dries so fast and it's just a weird. I just don't enjoy it at all. I'm gonna let that go. This Tarte bronzer, I'm sorry, highlighter, the shade as an Amazonian clay 12 hour highlighter in the shade Stunner. I loved this for so long. And now whenever I use it, I think, what was I thinking? Cause the shade, I love the shade, but on my face, it looks so obvious. Like it's this huge stripe of like gray brown highlighter. Love the color, just not on my skin tone. Uh, same with this um, Juvia's Place highlighter, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. This is like, I just sits right on top of my face. It doesn't like, I don't like the way it looks on my face. Nice color, not a big fan of the formula. Uh, this RMS Beauty um, Living Glow Face and Body Powder. This is a very golden loose highlighter. I got this in a Sephora Favorites set. Um, I've used it a couple more times and the shade is just not for me. <sighs> Gotta do it. Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I wanted this so badly when it came out. I think it came out 2018, holiday 2018. Wanted it so bad, never bought it, but I thought about it all year long. And then sometime last year, Too Faced brought it back, like they repromoted it right before they brought out the Gingerbread Spice, like extra spicy. I got this on HSN, use it a few times. I'm not that crazy about it. It's, it's good, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't use it. It literally sits right there as like decoration. So I'm just gonna let it go. Um, this e.l.f. highlight palette. I recently talked about this in a video. I just don't really care about it. Don't like the shades. Don't like the formula. This is a Kat Von D Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in the shade Gamma Ray. I actually already have this and I got this in a Kat Von D mystery bag and I haven't opened this. It's full size. I know these got discontinued, but I just don't need that. I have this Ofra, Ofra, Ofra lip gloss in the shade Mocha. This um, was a free gift with purchase when I bought some stuff on Ofra's website and I just never gonna use it, haven't opened it. Uh, these two lip glosses from Kosas, well they're the wet oil lip gloss. They're the shades Jaws and Dip. I bought this in a little trio, actually the other one I think I put away in the other shade in here called Jellyfish, right? that's my favorite one. These two I'm never gonna use in a million years. Unfortunately, I did open them and like pull it out and then I was like, I'm never gonna use that. So I opened them up, but I haven't, I didn't swatch them or use them or anything. So these two I'm gonna let go. Someone else I think would love those because I love that formula, just those colors are not for me. I have this Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow in the shade Fair Medium. I've had this forever, forever. Never use it. I just don't like the way the highlight looks on me and the sculpt shade is just doesn't like do a whole lot for me. Gonna let that go as well. I've kept it so long because of the packaging, but I'm never gonna use it. The Jonathan Adler and Clinique singles. I think these are already on my Poshmark if I, or I took pictures to put them up, but I think I put them up. This is the shade Aqua Pop. And then this green one is the shade Willow Pop. These two I'm gonna let go. This, oh, these two sad, sad palettes. These are from the Estee Edit. They are like these magnetic palettes that stick together like this and you have one side that is these cool eyeshadows and the other side that's highlighters. Love this idea. I think it's really, really cool. I hadn't seen anything like this and now that I'm opening it and looking at it, I'm like, I want to keep it. Anyway, I wanted these so badly when they were available. 
wanted them so bad, never bought them. Then the brand got discontinued, the products got discontinued, went on clearance, wanted them so bad, never bought them. Thought about them all the time. So I finally bought them on Poshmark and I haven't used them once. Haven't used them once, so I'm gonna let those go. That's that's one of the dumb things I bought, you know. Um, this ColourPop magnetic palette. I have some singles in here that I'm gonna declutter with the palette. I have six Makeup Geek shade shadows here. These are like the circle ones because now they have square pans. These are the round ones. These are all discontinued. Um, not sure if the shades are discontinued, but these are duplicates that I had anyway. Haven't used them or swatched them. This one I swatched, um, but the rest are unused. But I put those in here to declutter, as well as a few other shades here that I'm never going to use, like the shade Night Dream from ColourPop, uh, Right Tempo, and Quantum Sleep. I also have a few that I'm going to pop out of the palettes, like this one here in the shade, um, in the Orange You Glad palette. This one. I'm going to pop out all of these pressed glitters. So I'm going to pop out that. I brought out the Jaded, the So Jaded palette. I'm going to take that one out. I bought the Aura and Out palette. There's one in there. I'm going to pop that out. So I'm going to pop out all those pressed glitters and throw these in here as well. So that's going to be a declutter. And then a few little minis here. This little Ciate blush in the shade Pinch Me. I just don't love this shade on me. I have this Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder in the shade Glow. It says translucent powder, but this is, it looks like a white powder, but it is so highlighter, so sparkly and shiny. It's just not anything I'm going to use. And then this Auto Bomb um, little shade I got from Ipsy recently. I already have this in a palette, so I don't need this little sample. But that's a really good sample, actually. I This is a really decent size, and I love when the Bomb puts out little things like this in subscription services. They're so cute. I just already have that. And then I'm gonna let go of this palette from Ofra. I bought some stuff recently on Ofra's website. These were the shades that were in it, these uh, these um, eyeshadows, all these like cool ones right here. They're fine. I'm very just like not, I was expecting a lot more, I guess, and they're kind of just okay for me. I'm gonna keep using them, but I popped them out of the palette. This is what it looks like. It's the Glitch 2000 palette. And they were in here. And there was this big old foam thing in here. I don't like this packaging at all. But they came with these little tabs. So they were easy to pop out. This is magnetic. So I don't know if Ofra sells their shadows singly or in singles. Singly. Um, but I'm going to let go of this empty palette. Because I feel like someone could use this to put their sh shadows in it. Because I just don't need it. And it's I don't really like it that much. Someone else might like it. Um, and that's it. Those are all of the things I'm letting go of that I don't want to write down on my inventory. Um, if you're interested in any of these, they're going to be on Poshmark very shortly. Just keep an eye on it if, you want to, if you're interested in picking up any of these things. And that is it. Thanks for watching my declutter. I will see you soon for my inventory. Oh my gosh, you're going to be shocked. Or not, I don't know. I was shocked. Anyway, that is it. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.